Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that's in my kids' restaurant survival bag. Then my name is Jennifer. I'm a mum to a little boy called Ralph who is three, nearly four, and I've also just had a little girl who is almost seven weeks old. Obviously, she doesn't need entertainment in restaurants, but I definitely need to entertain my son. So that's why I have this little bag. So I'm using this little makeup or wash bag that comes from Next, and it's perfect because it's got all these little different compartments. I was using this as like a quick access nappy bag for my daughter and I used to keep like her nappies in that section, all like creams and things in there and it's got this great bit through the middle that you can keep wipes but I've got a new one for her now so I thought this would be perfect as a little restaurant bag. So let's check out what's inside. So in this first section I've actually got Lego. My son loves Lego, it's the perfect entertainment, he will play with that for hours. But for this, I've actually gone to Wilco's and bought their Lego equivalent, which is called Blocks. It's so much cheaper, I don't have to worry if we lose any pieces. And the great thing about it is when you're in there, you can hand select what pieces that you want. They've got them all on display and you literally can pick up one of these pots for four pound and you just pick the pieces that you want to go in it. And the great thing is, is there's loads of little different pieces you can pick. So it gives your kids so much variety of what they can build from it. Then what I did is just add some of these like bigger pieces that came from his main like Lego sets just to give him something extra to build from. And I actually got all of this in just one of their Wilco pots. In my next compartment, I keep Play-Doh. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a bit of Play-Doh. It's entertainment for the whole family, even the daddies. <laughs> we recently went out for dinner and even my other half loved playing this. So I add in just some of like your standard Play-Doh tools. So little cutters um, and little like shapes that you can cut out. But what are really good are these little funny character accessories. And these are really great for just making little monsters. I got these little Play-Doh character accessories from the works. I'm not sure if they sell them anymore, but I know you can still get them in Hobbycraft. And I think a set is about three pounds, so they're quite cheap. But these were just brilliant. We had fun as a family playing this and we had competitions like who could make the best Play-Doh monster. Then I also put in some little tractors and trailers. Trailers are the best thing because he joins these up and he loves like making little rocks out of the Play-Doh with them. So we roll them into balls and he can put them in his little trailers. Or if we haven't got the Play-Doh out, what we actually do is sometimes rip up a napkin, roll them into little balls, make rocks of them that way. Or what he really likes is getting like the sugar cubes or sugar sachets and putting them in here as well. And he loves just driving them around the table and tipping them in and out. And my last bit is this handy section in the middle. Now, wherever you go with kids, you need wipes. So I keep them in there. They are just really easy to grab. The amount of time Ralph puts his hands in his dinner and I need to wipe quickly so he can even get these out himself. So I leave them in there. I keep some hand sanitizer in there. Obviously, it's always nice to make sure your hands are clean before you eat. And I also add some kids cutlery. Now, the amount of family-friendly restaurants we go to that they provide kid menus, but they don't provide kid cutlery, and they give the kids this like adult-sized knife and fork, and that always ends up in such a mess, hence why you need the wipes. <laughs> um, but I always just put a little set in here for Ralph, and I put it in one of these little snack bags one, it keeps the knife and fork clean, but it also means after he's used it, you can put the dirty ones back in here, the mess doesn't go anywhere in your bag, and you can just take them home and wash them. Then behind the wipes, I actually keep a little secret stash of sweeties. Now, I don't always use this bag just for going out to a restaurant. I could use it for anything that I need to keep them entertained, and sometimes you just need that little bit of bribery, and I know that they're hidden behind there. When we go out for dinner, Family friendly restaurants generally provide kids with like colouring placemats and crowns and pencils. So I haven't added anything like that into this bag. And also things like that, I find my son gets bored with quite quickly. So I let him use that when we first get to the restaurant. Then I can whip out this bag and I know that I've got things in here that are gonna keep him entertained for longer. 
So that's it for my restaurant survival guide bag. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel. But thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.